Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here to talk with you guys about foot birthday, day number one, talk about everything that we learned today about this promo. It's always interesting the first day, the first Friday that we get a promo. We have all this new information that we kind of have to have to, you know, digest and kind of, you know, think about planning wise for the market, knowing what's going to happen. If it's a one week or a two week promo, what can we expect objective wise? You know, like what kind of other stuff are they talking about in terms of SBCs? And this promo, again, it's foot birthday and it has the promise of being something really good. I honestly think that this promo has the potential to be great. We have a sweet set of cards that are in packs with nice upgrades. And from what I hear, these cards actually play noticeably different in game. I haven't played any games of them. I haven't used them. People are in love with the same maximum. I do think that he might be one of the most overpriced cards we have seen in foot right now, just based on his in-game stats. But the the amount of you know variation in price that this guy has on the game just goes to show how hyped up he is right now. He was literally 1.1 million coins when I started my stream up tonight. He went up to 1.2 in the matter of an hour, and now he's back down to 1175. He was at 1.32 earlier today, and he was as low as like one almost one mil flat basically uh these cards are fluctuating a ton griezmann was at 1.45 million coins he went all the way back up to 1.65 now he's back down at the time of this recording to about 1.6 just under 1.6 so i want to talk about these cards are they going to be flippable uh, in the next few hours as we kind of do friday night into saturday uk time my gut feeling is no and some of these cards i think this cancello is too cheap Five star skills on a right back already has a four star weak foot, high medium work rates. Uh, it's a really, really solid card. And of course, he is Manchester United. So I want to talk about all these cards and the supply on them was really interesting today as well and how you could have made coins today. I want to talk about all of that. But first, we got to talk about what we learned from this promo because EA put out this page today foot birthday FIFA ultimate team and FIFA 20 11 years of FIFA ultimate team can only mean one thing it's time to mark the occasion with foot birthday featuring special foot birthday items themed flashbacks objectives daily engagement objectives SBCs and more so there's there's two really cool things out of this promo which make me think that this could be hype right the two things that set this promo apart from other promos that we have had uh are the two that we saw here additional daily engagement rewards and themed flashbacks and i'll talk about those in a second but basically we got a team of special players today these are these are the players on footpin right here uh footpin hasn't actually added a squad for them under the team of the week tab on footpin so uh footpin if you could do that that'd be awesome but this is the whole squad i'm sure you guys have seen it and basically what they did was they either upgraded a player to a five star skill move upgrade or a five star weak foot so they either went four to five or three to five i don't know if anybody went two to five from looking at the players, I don't know if anybody went from a two-star weak footer skills to a five-star, but I, that's a different conversation. Uh, so we got a pretty nice team today. Great player selection, I think. And again, it's team one. Two teams of foot birthday players will be available. So again, it is another two-week promo. Now, we're not always a fan of these, but I hope that this one is good uh, because what we're going to read through the rest of this seems pretty promising. So it is a two-week promo that we, are, again, will be seeing with foot birthday the past 11 years of ultimate team have ushered in countless players we won't forget anytime soon a select group of foot favorites will be released throughout the event via sbc with a flashback item type so they're going to be putting out flashback sbcs of foot favorites so basically it's like a flashback to a former fifa is what it seems to me so we might see like an eric by sbc we might see uh you have to think about when they're going to use players for these SBCs. If it's, uh, it's got to be a player that is actually in the game. Like they couldn't do somebody like, I don't think a Barbo is in this game. I don't think, I think S wine is in the game, but if we think back to some like FIFA 12 or FIFA 13 legends, some of those guys, they literally like Eto, they can't put Eto in this game because he's literally not a card. He doesn't have a card in foot or they don't have the rights to him or whatever it is. So when you're thinking of, when you're brainstorming of some of the the foot favorites, uh, flashback SBCs that we could see. Again, it's got to be somebody who has a card in the game as far as I'm aware. So 
this has a lot of potential, right? Of course, like guys like Butland. We already have had a Chris Smalling SBC, but we could have a Chris Smalling, um, like a Fred SBC. I know we just had him in a storyline. Bakioko, I think Bakioko will be getting an SBC from this, especially since they put uh, Sissoko in the team. I do think we will see a Bakioko. So just a heads up out there, you know, I would almost expect that kind of card, to be honest with you. Um, so be careful with that, but there's a lot of hype for this and there's a lot of potential for that engagement streak rewards. This is the other thing that I think is really cool. And I'm going to explain it and then show it to you in foot throughout the event, earn rewards for consistent daily engagement in foot foot birthday daily objectives will be released throughout foot birthday, complete all daily objectives to unlock the foot birthday daily completionist group to earn additional rewards. Now, I don't know what these mean. I don't know what those letters mean, but over here in the objectives tab, if you actually log into it, you will see that there's a foot birthday daily objective. Complete the foot birthday daily objective to earn untradeable rewards. Un complete all five to unlock further untradeable rewards. So it looks like there's going to be five here, right? We only show one right now, and this is only open for like 14 more hours. So it's literally just one day you have to play two games of in any foot mode. So I'm going to get this done. I have a draft that I have set up. And I also have um, some squad battles that I'm doing for the prime icon pack for icon swaps. But if you guys are playing weekend league, this is perfect for you, right? Because you're you're getting a two games done and you have to get those done in the next, you know, 14 hours or whatever to kind of start your streak to claim this daily objective. So again, it depends on what the reward is in the end, but I'm going to grind this because this is cool, right? And whenever they promise, it's almost like how we had those upgradable cards, right? The F F Future Star Academy cards. It's like an upgradable SBC. As farther you go, you're going to get further and tradable rewards or further rewards. So I am a fan of this, EA. Thank you for doing something like this with objectives. I appreciate it. That is awesome. Um, and then also bonus weekend league player picks. We're getting next weekend or next foot, next weekend in foot for foot champions. Um, there's going to be the extra player picks similar to those, I think that were awarded a couple weeks ago during Libertadores during foot player day. So that's a way they're trying to keep people engaged with foot since we're on objectives. I'll talk a little bit more about the content from today. Bella Robbie, if you're going to do either of these two, either Paqueta or Bella Robbie, I think Bella Robbie is your guy. He's not bad. I mean, it's a decent card. Uh, he got the five star weak foot. I do believe he can't really shoot that well, but if you need some wing play, a first owner wing, player in the Bundesliga. There's not a ton of right wings other than like Sancho, uh, player of the month, Nabry. There might be one or two others that I'm forgetting about, but this is a pretty solid card. First owner doesn't take a lot to do him. The hardest one is you have to score and assist in seven separate rivals wins. This Paqueta card right here looks like a pretty good dribbler. I'm assuming he has five-star skills. Um, yes, he definitely has five-star skills. And this one you have to win. It's all based on squad battles. It looks like so I rate that it's an 86 rated car that you could get through squad battles if you really wanted to. A couple decent packs as well. So you know what? If you want to grind it, go for it. Go ahead. If it fits into your in your team as well, that's nice. But other than that, I think that was all that we got today. And these are the ones that are going to be unlocked soon. These are like the foot birthday completionist objectives. So they've already kind of loaded them up. So uh, it looks like there's five that will be coming out. So maybe. It looks like these won't be just one day at a time if they're going to last a whole week out of five objectives, but we'll see what those bring us later in the game this week. I want to look at SBCs here for a second. We had a foot 09 SBC today for an 83 plus pack. I've already done that. You're not going to see it, um, but we did get a kit SBC and we also got a Mezit Ozil SBC. So there's a lot of Premier League fans, a lot of people out there that were doing this today. I think it's not a bad card to be honest, but it's just like, Five-star weak foot is, is cool. Medium low work rates, no thanks. If you're an Arsenal fan uh, or if this would really fit your team, this is like a perfect card for hybriding situations for like a, maybe you need a link to like your Timo Werner and then you also need a link to your Aubameyang type thing. This would be a perfect card to kind of, to hybrid in some squads. But, um, you know, just not my cup of tea at this stage of the game. They could have boosted the card a little bit more. Not a bad card though, right? J just all right. If, if it means something to you to have that in your club, or if you want to try to craft it, that would be, that's fine with me. The big story about the game today though, um, was these new cards. Honestly, the new cards with the upgraded skill moves, with the upgraded um, attributes was really 
the big news today on foot. I'm going to look at this Mbappe card because some people are saying that this Mbappe card is better than the team of the year. Yes, there are some people saying in this game that this Mbappe foot birthday version is better than the team of the year. Even though he has considerably less stats in some areas, I think the team of the year is like 5.4. It was like a 300, 400,000 coin price difference. He's 5'3". Five, 5'3 three? Five, three flat for the team of the year. This was actually 5.1 earlier today. People are saying that the five-star Wii foot on Mbappe is seriously a game changer, which I have not used Mbappe, so at least a higher up version like this. So I don't know myself, but people are saying that it literally is game changing for that card, which I'm very interested in. Uh, if you have used him, um, I mean, I think that's one of the most hyped up cards out of this promo from one of the new ones that came out. If I had to choose any other one that was one of the most hyped up, besides St. Maximin, which I think is obviously the number one hyped up card, I would throw Griezmann in there, man. This Griezmann card, people are saying is fantastic and i would expect this guy to remain very expensive he's obviously barcelona he's french got a pretty sizable upgrade and now he has five star weak foot which is mental for him as well i'm sure that makes this card so much more usable and that's going to make these cards interesting down the line since they are going to play so much better in game than some of their previous versions it's going to be interesting to watch and see what some of these cards do um but i want to talk about how they reacted on the market today so I predicted beforehand, and I actually, my video last night, uh, by the way, insane support on that video and insane support on the channel lately. Uh, you guys pushed me over 9,000 subscribers and you didn't stop there. We're at like 9.2K right now when we had like 15,000 views on yesterday's video, which is incredible. Um, so that's not just to like flex numbers or anything on you guys. I just want to say thank you for uh, believing in my content and watching it. And I, I really, really appreciate that. I'm here to help people make coins. And when you're watching it, then I'm hopefully helping you make some coins and, and learn about the market and, you know, help maybe save you some coins as well. But um, a lot of stuff today was at its lowest in the first um, 30 minutes. There's 30 minutes to an hour, hour and a half time frame, even with all the server issues that we had today. St. Maximin was a million coins flat today. I'm going to look up this card because a ton of people are talking about the same maximum, which I think it's overpriced. I really do think this card is crazy overpriced, but people are willing to pay it at the moment. 1.2 mil for this guy, and he fluctuates a lot, man. This guy fluctuates a lot, but that just tells me that he has a lot of demand. He Literally, he was 1.1 million coins a little bit ago. Now he's 1149. He was up at 1.2. This guy was selling at 1.3 mil um, after the lightning rounds came today, and now he, he's back down to like 1.1-ish. I do see some of these cards rising back up into the morning, but it's probably only going to be the select few cards that are just very overpowered, that are very, very good. Because other than that, a lot of these cards got hammered with supply today. Even Griezmann. Griezmann had a ton of supply. He was 1.45 mil, had a ton of supply earlier, pages on pages on pages, and he still rebounded to like 1.617. Then we have guys like Cancelo. And a lot of people, which I'm, I'm in agreement with you guys, this guy is too cheap. This Cancelo card is too cheap, but for whatever reason, he just keeps getting cheaper. He's like 225K right now. Actually, he's he's ticked back up in price, maybe like 5, 6K. He was 220 flat just about 20 minutes ago. Maybe just a fluctuation. Uh, but this guy, if you like look at 240, 250K, which if we would buy this card at 220, I would want to sell it at 250K plus for an overnight flip. Some of the supply is going away but I'm only going up 20,000 coins and the man still has 10 pages, 10 pages of supply. And he's only 20 K up on price. There's a, just, there's a lot of supply, especially for this time of the market on some of these cards. Could this rise into tomorrow a little bit more? It's very possible. He, he could be 250 in the morning. I just don't know if there's that much hype for him. And again, these cards are going to be in packs again for lightning rounds today on Saturday. So I would be very careful with these if you have them in your team, just because, because we saw what lightning rounds could do to these cards today. And I think these guys do have a lot of supply. Rashford is somebody who is pretty rare and is going to fluctuate a decent amount. And again, has that five star, five star. So the possibility for uh, a, a decent upgrade and a decent feel in game. Hazard as well with the five star skills, the four star weak foot is very nice. We like that. I'm still intrigued by this five star skills in a center back. I don't understand it, man. Another special Bundesliga center back. 
We finally got the five star weak foot back on Havertz. I bought one of these at 505, so I'm, I'm gonna try to flip that overnight. But yeah, man, today was just another promo Friday with crazy, crazy fluctuations on the market. If you were able to buy stuff before the promo and you sold later, you made a lot of profit. High rated cards dipped during the promo. Uh, I'm just going to run through really quick some of the stuff that I did today. I bought this Carlos Alberto for 1.7 mil. That was a nice flip. 1.45 on this Hugo Sanchez. My biggest flip of the day, 1.41 for this Zola. That was a very nice profit on him. And these two cards, this was honestly one of the most insane flips I've ever seen. Both of these baby Maradonas popped up at 1.5 flat within literally seconds of each other. I searched the 59th. I saw the first one at 1.5. I bought it. And then literally I compared the price after I bought it and saw another one at 1.5. I, I thought it was the same card, but it was two Maradonas at 1.5 flat. Bought them both, sold them both at 1.62, which was nice. I just flipped this right now for 40K profit. Bought this at 650, a little bit of profit there. And I'd also mess around with some lower tier informs. This Di Maria was 57,000 coins to 58K for all of these. Sold them from 75 to 70K. This Usman, one bought at 598, one bought at 600K. Again, when you find really rare past Team of the Week cards um, that are getting panic sold before a promo, people thought that Usman Dembele was going to get a card today. He's already got five star, five star though, so why would he get one? Uh, I don't know, but it is what it is. He was 600K flat, and now he's back up to like 670, so that was a GG. I bought these uh, Dignes for 158 to 160. And then I messed around with some of these. I think these are actually break even. I made profit on that though. That's very nice. And then I have some of the stuff that I'm still left selling. I bought some Team of the Week moments today. Team of the Week moments are low, man. Team of the Week moments are very low and are probably only going to go a little bit lower. But I do think they're going to start upticking over the weekend because there are so many desirable players in this Team of the Week moment squad that people are going to want to go after. So if you are looking to buy some of these for your team, I think that today during lightning rounds might be your shout. Any later than that, and you might have some people from Patreons and, and people start to invest in these, which could make them go up. I don't know if we'll get lightning rounds on Sunday. So I'm very intrigued with these Team of the Week moments because, again, De Bruyne, Coman, Inaki Williams, Nangolan, Lucas, Pepe, Koulibaly. There's a lot of usable guys in this team that people want in their squad. So if you do want to do a little bit of investment, I feel like some of these guys are cheap already. Like that Lucas Moore for 140, that's pretty cheap for you know a striker position change the kingsley coleman is the one that gets me the most as kind of like a undervalued card but um just watch those guys today cheapest players by rating these high rated goals let me show you busquets for example these guys dipped really fast during the pack onslaught during lighting rounds then they shot back up if you look at the hourly graph i haven't looked at busquets's hourly graph but boom you can see it right here Busquets was 58k. He dropped down to 49 and is now back up. He was actually 56k over here. And now he's 53. But this happened with like all of the high rated today, especially if it's an 86 or above. 86 is might be up a tiny bit, but Ter Stegen, What did Ter Stegen do today? Let me let me watch this. 71k at the moment. On the hourly graph, did he go to like 65 during 64k? Now back up to 73. So. These cards during lighting rounds are going to fluctuate a ton. People are still doing the mid icon SBC. So if you're looking for things to do today on foot, watch cards during lighting rounds. Which ones would I have you watch? I would have you watch these foot birthday items. See how much lower they go. It's going to be weird this weekend with the weekend league being extended a day for all the server issues that we had. I mean, the server issues were a big problem today. They were, they knocked people out of the game for a while. Uh, but we do have an extra day for weekend league now. So the weekend league sell-off is going to be, you know, a little bit weirder than normal because we do have the extra day of weekend league. It is what it is. We will just kind of deal with that and whatever. Um, but watch the prices of, we just got a sale. Who was it? Ooh, I think it was, it was Raquel May 970. Nice. Bought that at 900 flat. GG's. Um, I do think that we'll see some more downward trends on these cards right here on these foot birthday cards. I'm not sure what they're gonna be coming out with content wise for Saturday, but I would expect a player SBC. We got Ozil today. I feel like they might give us our first flashback is a possibility. So just be on the watch for that. High rateds are still very, very pricey though. Uh, so watch them during lighting rounds because if you're, if we get an SBC tomorrow that doesn't require like higher rateds, I do think you might see some of those higher rateds drop. But people still have coins and they're doing stuff on this game like the mid icons SBC. So do think you could see 
a rebound in some of those and just be trading out on the market, man. Trading with chemistry style fluctuations, getting cards on bid, uh, like this Usman Dembele, like, right? Like these are very desirable and still pretty rare cards. How much is he on the market right now? How much is Usman? Usman is, he's dropped back down after the or original buyback. Looks like he's maybe 660K. Yeah, 660 for Usman at the moment. Uh, just be, if you want to make some coins in this market, icon trading is perfect. It's great. Um, but just look out for like fluctuation trading with chem styles, right? Hunters, shadows, link investments to the new cards. The new cards are selling like hotcakes. This is something I always love to do is trading with the new promo team, uh, with chemistry styles, right? Lucas Hernandez. What are you going to run on this card when you, if you play with him, right? 300,000 coins to this card. His cheapest on the market right now is two. His cheapest on the market is 297. All right. What is Lucas Hernandez with the shadow? He's only been in packs for one day. How much is he with a shadow? 319, 317. I add this to my watch list. Somebody who's trying out Lucas Hernandez, they forget they have a shadow on him. They might list him up for 290 and boom, I have an opportunity for a quick flip there at like 315,000 coins, a little bit of profit. So especially on the cheaper cards that a lot of people can go and try out from this foot birthday set. So maybe somebody like um, the Irving Lozano, that would be a perfect card the fluctuation trade with Lozano is like 140,000 or 150,000 coins right now, I think. Okay, so he's like just under 150K. What is he with a Hunter Chem style? With a Hunter Chem style, how much is Lozano? 180. Now, I don't know if he actually sells at this 174, but this would be the perfect. A lot of people are going to try this card out right now because he's five star skills, four star weak foot. Fits the meta perfectly. So watch, watch for some chemistry style trading on some of these cards, right? Even the Hiao, Joaquin Correa, Joaquin Correa, the five-star skiller now, Argentine, stuff like that. Watch for some trading methods with those to be pretty profitable for you guys as well. Without keeping this video super duper long, let me know what you guys thought about day one of Foot Birthday. I think the content has the possibility to be sweet with the flashback SBCs. It's going to work really well for EA um, because a lot of stuff is expensive right now with the mid icon. Uh, a lot of the, the SBC fodder is very expensive. So hopefully we get upgrade packs on either Monday or Tuesday because I will be down to smash upgrade packs during this promo. Because if you hit one of these cards, I mean, if you hit Dejene, if you hit Correa and Gaetan and Guerrero, there's only th those four cards. If you hit anybody else from the squad, you're feeling pretty good about that. Really solid set of cards from today. I like the possibility for the content that could be coming up. So I'm a fan of Foot Birthday so far. Car design still a little weird though, I have to say. But if you guys enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new, all right? It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.